So, what's up for today? I was working on a reusable rocket just like the Starship by Elon Musk. It was very hard to balance this thing out, but I think I did a passable job. The current state of the so-called Galaxy ship has a delta V of uh, almost 4,000 meters per second this stage alone. And here we can see the cargo bay of the Galaxy class. And I just put a few fuel tanks in the center of it to, you know, simulate the weight of a satellite of three tons in this case. We need to use the landing legs, so we will just put them out. We will launch the rocket probably over here and I intend to land on one of those, you know, landing points you can see here in the distance. Here we are on the launch site. Uh, you can see that the cargo bay is still open, so it's time to <laughs> close it for the testing. First of all, we will try to get on a stable altitude of, you know, several hundred meters and then we will try to find out which landing pad is more accessible for us. Put on the SAS and power to 90%. The countdown, please. Oh, no countdown this time. All right, steady as possible. Let's already look out for the landing pads, which should be somewhere around there. Put on the RCS to stabilize the rocket. Approaching 200 meters, this should be enough. I will go down to 75%. This looks stable as hell. Put on the landing legs because uh, right now we don't need them. We just want to, you know, fly in this direction, going south. We need to observe the altitude. And we don't want to get too fast regarding the velocity over the surface. Keep it below 50 meters per second. I will try to head for uh, this landing pad over there, right in front of us. We need to watch the fuel. We are wasting a lot right now in this uh, phase of testing. Okay, now we need to put on more power because we are losing altitude now quite fast. Okay. Okay, so far so bueno. I love the rocket already. Okay, I think it's time to, uh, you know, break a little bit. Yeah, we are over 50 meters now and we need to break. So, little counteract. We can see the velocity over the surface decreases and we approach the landing site. Let's put on some more power. Almost there, guys. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh shit, oh no, no, that was the wrong direction. The wrong direction. Okay, abort, 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 abort. No! Ah, oh, god damn it. Prepare for a little explosion. You can always be better. Thanks, Cap. I figured that out on myself. I oversteered too much. It would have just been, you know, surreal if I would have made it on the first attempt. So <laughs> uh, this is this is way more realistic. Okay, here we are once again. Put down the power back to 90%. I think this was okay. Put on the RCS from the beginning of the flight. Three, two, one. One. There it goes. Let's put on the gears uh, right now. Clear of the launch site. Now we are hovering above the launch site and we are reaching 300 meters of altitude. We don't need more. Let's face a little bit more to the south. If you have any uh, suggestions when it comes to constructing or flying, please let me know in the comments. I would highly appreciate it. A little bit more up to decrease our velocity because we are already over 40 meters per second. Maybe a little bit more to the east because we are now drifting towards the west. We are still increasing our altitude. We don't want that. Give a little bit more throttle because we are losing altitude quite fast right now. Okay, now we approach the landing site, so we brake a little bit. Maybe already put out the landing gears, so we don't have to deal with them later. No, 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 no. Uh, keep it cool. No, 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 no. Okay, full throttle, full throttle. <gasps> Holy sh**. What happened? I think during the flight, the center of mass changes so drastically that we lose control of the galaxy ship. Oh, poor girl. And wow, and why did we just uh, went into the waters? Oh my God, the game is so buggy. You can always be better. Uh, thanks, Cap. Let's get back to the VIB this time. I will just remove our cargo weight here. You know, just for testing, maybe we then have more control over our ship here. All right, attempt number three. All good things are three. And I'm very, very sure that this is the attempt where we finally succeed. I really don't know what to do with those cameras views. The camera views are so buggy and messed up. I don't know why they changed them. The cameras are so horrible in the current state of early access of KSP2. But I think we can deal with that. We lost uh, three tons of cargo weight. So I will go down to 85% but leave it like that. Three, two, one. 
fire. Looks fine to me. We don't need that much of altitude. And I really hope that uh, the testing goes better right now. We are now holding the altitude. Maybe go down a little bit more because now we're gaining again. Crossing my fingers over here that this time is going to be successful. We are 40 meters per second fast. Okay, this time it looks way more promising. Okay, and we don't want to land in the park. We want to land over there. That's better. We're not clear yet. We need to decrease our velocity over the surface. Okay, break. The retrograde shows us in which direction we actually go down. A little bit slower. Follow the retrograde. This is the time. Now we can make it. Now we can do it. We can do it. Shut down the engines. Woo! Yes! Oh my god, I did it! I f did it! Put off the RCS, also put out the SAS. People, this is a huge milestone for me because I've never been able to build a Starship-like rocket. A landing like this was only possible for me when it comes to, you know, moon or Minmus landings. But here on Kerbin with that strong gravity, wow, this is, this is the first time for me. So I'm so happy right now. Of course, we need to be able to put this boy into a low orbit. If that's not possible, there's no use for it. I am speechless. I am speechless. I already love this rocket. So thank you very much for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any feedback, uh, please leave it here in the comments. Yeah, hopefully see you soon again on our next ride here with the Galaxy ship in KSP2. Thanks for watching and take good care of yourself.